Yo, what's up guys, Bloopy Fist here. And today I actually had the honor to be able to test out a live um, for the new car that's coming to Marvel Snap tonight. You should be watching, if you're watching this video, this might be the first one with a live footage and I'm pretty excited. Um, I got to play around with him for quite a bit of time, honestly. And he's a very fun card. He can ensure that you win. We're using a deck today called Catch Me If You Can. It's very similar to the deck that was very popular with Absorption Man, Brood, uh, Patriot. Uh, but we have a few things in the mix of it as far as uh, Nebula and just trying to make sure that our decks are going to be good. But the thing about it is that we have Gene Gray. Gene Gray is going to be very good with Eliath. Eliath on turn... Uh, Eliath, when you play this card, it says every card your opponent played this turn is destroyed, even cards that are not revealed yet. So that is wild. Um, that can even go into things like invisible lady, invisible woman, invisible lady. <laughs> so it's a very powerful card. Um, of course, having priority is going to be the best thing to do. One thing that I thought was really cool. Um, I was vipering over ghost so that my opponents would always have priority, something like that. But what we did here is just made a deck that was, it would ramp up so, so fast that the opponent couldn't catch up. And then we just slap down Jean Grey on turn five. And on turn six, we drop down a life and there was nothing they could do. Daredevil also has really good synergy with the life because you need to know how things are going to be going for the last turn. You really want priority. Being able to stop your opponent from playing a card is way more important than killing their card after they've played it. This is not a Shang-Chi type card because if they do anything which is surprisingly if they do i and i happen to me a lot some some of the endurance play tests i got leadered which leader would pop out he leader would get destroyed if they played it in that same lane but a life would come out smack me in the face and i'm just sitting there like okay that was awesome um other things um just if you don't get to pull off your galactus it's okay but also you can even have galactus um, be kind of a, a red herring and then you drop a life and then it's over with your their biggest card They had to play is gone because they were trying to stop a Galactus play. I love this I, I love the options that they're giving to Galactus I know some of you guys don't like that, but I honestly miss Galactus I don't see him as much as I used to anymore and I love stumping out Galactus So this is gonna give me another puzzle to solve. So guys, here's the gameplay. Let's go ahead and get into it Thank you guys so much. I love you Catch you later. Okay, so this is a good hand. We do have Brood. We have Gene Gray. We, we definitely we get the Raft. The brood there. We are there. On care. We do get Forge this turn. Then we actually decide to go Forge into Brood, but we don't probably. Okay, so, but uh, this is good. This is still good. I can do things like this. And next turn, I can. What a guy. What a guy. So we got Thanos. So this is actually really good on our part. Because we can do this. This is why we like this. I guess with New York, it does kind of mess this up a bit. I don't see where he's gonna go. That seems very smart. He can possibly win the middle, maybe? 
He has to play like an 11 power card. Well, no, he only has to play a nine. Cause Angelo's gonna give him plus two, but he if he plays, what, 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 you, what you doing? Wind aid my hand. There's no way. There's no way. There's, there's just no way, man. Um, yeah. So either way, we win on the left and the middle because they're forced to play somewhere. I, I love that with Jane. I mean, with Jean Grey, it, it just works out. Um, I think that this is these are the kind of decks that a life is gonna excel in. Decks that can build up power so fast so that now you're just winning and what are you gonna do? Of course you can play a life in things like Galactus and just like pure destroy decks, but I think this is where he actually excels. Okay, Armin Big. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop Nega. I'm mean, not Nega Sonic. Ne Neb Nebula Sonic? Yeah. Uh, Nebula over here on Muir Island. Very good location for her. I'll also throw Jeff down next turn. Unless, of course, I get four. But we probably won't get him, right? Uh, kind of annoyed by this. Simply because I don't like the fact that. Can't, I'm not gonna be able to lay down. Uh -uh. I'm gonna lay Brew down over here, Absorbing Man. I'm gonna play Gene over here on turn five because. What I'm seeing. Oh. Wind aid my hand. and we keep priority on both of these lanes. the thing we kind of can't really <laughs> he played himself <laughs> he played himself all he can play and try to win is here i mean hey angela scorpion into Black Widow. Wow, okay. Yeah, no. Victory. So yeah, we were in, we were insured to win. He locked he locked himself down over here, and we were just gonna win. Like, look at this power we got here with the Brood and the Nebula. And then over here we have the um, I mean, the Absorption Man Brood, and then we got the regular regular Brood, which still is a lot of power if you think about it. It's still a three six, We're still good. And he just couldn't do anything. All right, nothing to play here now. What are we gonna do? Have nothing. To do. I don't like having out of silence either. That's kind of kind of not cool. I do like having uh, Daredevil though. That is something I do like to have. Okay. So these are always going to be one of our. Play Jean Grey because if Bifrost moves, 
the better. Because for losing Cosmos is not a good thing to have Gene on. It's limiting what they can. wish I had something that I could go ahead and fill up. So I've been putting too much power in this one lane, but I knew that it was going to turn and I didn't want to go over here. Weird place, but okay. We just win now. We have priority too. So Doom can't even save him because if he plays Doom, we're going to have enough power over here. Anyway. And these are the kind of situations you're going to be looking out for now, right? You're going to be saying, oh my God, they have priority. It's almost, so that's what makes a life a good card. Just like Galactus, just like Legion, you have to start asking yourself, do they have a life? Do they have Legion? Oh my God, they have Galactus. When it, when that gets, when you have the, the, the curse of knowledge that that's a possibility, <laughs> That's where things get terrifying. I mean, honestly, this is a good counter to the deck, I think, uh, with the Professor X Lockdown and the Destroyer. Um, because you can't destroy it if you have armor. Um, and I've tried it. Um, if they lay down armor, their unrevealed cards won't get destroyed either, obviously. Nothing gets destroyed there. So it's 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 just a really good, it's a good card. I think a life is good in certain circumstances. And especially in... The thing about Galactus is that you can see Galactus, Galactus starting to work in motion, right? You're like, oh, this guy's going for Galactus. He's throwing out Wolverine and he's throwing out Nova and he just Shuri to Nimrod. Like I'm, I'm expecting Galactus. But the thing that's scary about Eliath is that you don't have to have any tales that this dude is playing Eliath. But then once you see it, you're like, Eliath. <laughs> That's what it could be, a life. And it probably is. And for the next few days, it's probably gonna be that way. Cause that's just kind of how a life works. What I really want to do is show you guys the animation of Goliath, because that animation is actually pretty, pretty cool. I love him blowing hot breath on people. It's just hilarious to me. Ever, I swear. You want to keep Baxter building uh, in, this little, in this game because, I mean, think about it. Really smart thing to do. You want you want to you want to try and keep as much priority as you can when you're playing a deck that has life. Then life can kill things that are not, that are not covered as well. Not happy about that. I'm mostly curious right now if we end up getting what we may they could copy our group. Not what I want, but we copy Okay, that is okay. Opponent snapped. And we're gonna play Absorbing Man now. Play absorbing man now. I didn't want to, but I think I kind of have to. Um, Jubilee. Watch me pick up that. Oh, Shang-Chi, great. Opposite. But now he can't win over here. Let's be his eye. Next turn, he has to play over here.
Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, Odin. He could, even if he full, if he full um, floats, he still doesn't win. So I don't know what he could possibly do besides get victory. I mean, I'm sad that I'm not being able to show off a life's uh, ability that much, but um, I think that the I think the bots just don't like to. They know they're gonna lose, and they just don't like. It. But even games where I was coming back, they don't like to do it either. Got a one six blade. The <laughs> value. He did not hesitate. Either. We get, there are some cars that go bananas there. Some cars go bananas. By bananas, I mean. Speaking of the devil. It would be nice to have. Patriot now. Now they'll only be able to play half a card. If I play Jean Grey. Love to see it. That's okay. So next turn, I am going to boom, boom. Seems like a smart plan to me. And then next turn, I can do a few things. If I get a life, I can play a life down mid. If I don't get a life, I can play doom down. We have different lines. That's smart. That's scary. But because we have priority, if let's say the card they have in their in their deck in their hand is Modok, they have to play a mid unless they have a one drop, which most discard decks aren't gonna have another one drop besides Sunspot or what's his face. So I think we can do this, but we'll find out. Wait, did it? It mattered. So first off, he cheated. <laughs> he got a one in three apocalypse, got the plus three, which was enough. I didn't even realize it was gonna be enough. That's bad on my part, but still, he didn't play anything. See, that's that just shows you right there. The the bots really don't like a lot. They don't. Because <laughs> I mean, uh, he if this was just a regular robot, they didn't know exactly what I was doing. They would have played something. There's no way that a robots, I mean a bot, is gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna go for the one and three. <laughs> that's the best option I got. <laughs> but I guess it's okay. I guess that's fine. That's okay. Okay, so this is good. Daredevil with Elysium. I might, act, if I get, if I manage to get, please give me a life. That's what I'm talking about. So now, now the opponent is kind of forced you have to play. So this is this is the way that I've kind of seen. I'm gonna be able to show it to you. I believe I can show you a lion back to the Live from the Daily Bugle. Iron Man, really? Don't want to do anything. But I bet they just got our are alive. Probably will just happen. 
I want to go into wave, but at the same time, I don't. Let's not go into wave. Maybe they have enough, yeah, they did. They have enough cards to play on both of them. Now they're going into wave. I'm going to lay down Dr. Doom. Try to get some priority back. They might have even gotten Dr. Doom. I'm not sure. Daily Bugle can be a little bit troll. White time. Alright. So, we still have priority. And they have to play here. They have to. Awesome. Now I have an option. I have priority, right? I'm going to be able to finally show you guys this. And this might be the hardest thing to pull off versus these uh, computers. I'm not going to lie. I can finally show you guys stanky dank purple hate. Simple, easy. Never saw it. I just get wiped off the field. He just get wiped off the field. It is hilarious and funny, and I love it. And it's just awesome. Uh, what I want to do here, I think it'd be better if I can do a few things. This might be the best play I have. And sure, we're going to win the right over here. And also this, they're probably going to leave. Victory. That is the power of a lion right there. He, he doesn't even let them go off, which is crazy. They, they wanted to get rid of Elysium and fill up this Jean Grey lane. And you're just like, nah, especially with Daredevil. Daredevil synergizes so much with Alive just because Daredevil lets you know, okay, how is this going to turn out this turn? So you can calculate and find out if you're going to have priority for the next turn. You can use Professor X, lock something down. You use um, Galactus if you need to, if you're doing it on turn five and then into a life. There are so many ways to use this card other than just laying it down on a Galactus lane. There's so many ways. I think this card is going to fit better as a surprise um, rather than a card for um just having it in a in a deck built for this car i mean I, I this is the way i think the best way to use it you have to use gene gray you have to use daredevil you have to force your opponent into a tunnel and once they're in that tunnel there's no escaping that's the way i see it so yeah my thoughts on a life is that he doesn't actually fit in galactus decks as well as you can make him fit in a deck like the one i showed you here of uh, the catch me if you can deck where you're ramping up so far and then at the end it's just a surprise. Like, oh yeah, I can win by doing this. No, you can't. You know, um, they're not gonna know that because it's a surprise. And that's the best way to play Marvel Snap if you ask me, is when you can do something that your opponent's not expecting, like a Legion in a deck. Legion works really well because you don't, Legion doesn't fit into a, a particular archetype. Whereas you can try to put a life into a destroy archetype but in fact, I think he's just his own tech card. He's like having Cosmo. He's like having Shang-Chi. These cards fit in decks because they're good at doing what they do. A life can ensure you victory in certain situations. And that's just fantastic. And he's better than Spider-Man um, from the previous before they changed him because it happens in one turn. Whereas Spider-Man was, you can't play next turn. Okay, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Eliab says, nah, man, look, this was the last turn. The rent was due. You're evicted. Like, he's not giving you an eviction letter. He's he's getting, he's taking you out right then. And that's a, that's an amazing ability. Uh, if you can, if you can find a deck that can ramp up and prevent them from getting that amount of power as you can, and you just completely stomp out their turn six play, you're, you're, you're good. There's no, there's nothing they can do. 
So, guys, thank you. I just want to say thank you so much to Marvel Snap for giving me the opportunity to even hop up in here and play with the life um, first. I love Detroit cards. So when I saw that this got announced, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait. And then I had this opportunity. So awesome. So guys, if you enjoy the deck, if you enjoy my thoughts, you know, be sure to, uh, you know, like, subscribe. But I honestly want you guys to drop a comment and, and just tell me, how do you feel about Alive? Do you think that he's gonna be really good in like Detroit decks? Or do you think, like I think, that he's gonna be crazy good like Legion is, in decks where you're just adding him in as an as an audible let me know down in the comments and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace